So I finally bought a camper. I thought I'd be out camping and having fun, but no, no. I've already had to rip out the floor. The guy I bought it from scammed me big time. He put in a new floor and made it look real nice. Of course, I'm an idiot for not seeing the signs. I could tell it wasn't perfect, but I didn't think it could be as bad as it was. The manufacturer has some kind of plastic under the whole bottom of the RV. I cut a hole in it because it was sagging and I wanted to see what was under there. And I could feel the wet, old plywood under there. So, this needs to come up sooner rather than later, meaning now. It's solid, but you can definitely feel that it's not as solid as this. So let's rip up this floor and see what's going on. Super easy to peel up. Well, a little worse than I thought. The guy was a little dumber than I thought. Kind of piece together the Luan. I just have these strips here so I can step on them because it's really sticky. Still a little bit of wetness right there in the corner and in that area. I think it's a little wet over there because I accidentally left that open one day during the rain. Still gotta take this shit out of the bathroom. Okay. All that stuff is out. Now it's time to get this Luan out of here and see what is going on under this floor. Okay, so I peeled the Luan up here in the bathroom and it looks like he at least did put new plywood in, but he pieced it together just like he did the Luan and it can't be like this. It just doesn't hold weight. So this just has to come out and I gotta put a new sheet of wood in there. This guy was just stupid and I suspect he did the same thing out here we will see yep what a wonky mother this guy was this explains a lot that explains a lot that explains a lot that's pretty funny Everything back there is fine. It's just up here. Most people would send the whole thing to a junkyard, but I will fix this. This guy was crafty. He went to the store and got some metal and like put it there. See this black barrier? Behind that is literally the outside. Should be this barrier, a layer of insulation, then the plywood floor and then the floor covering. So the guy I bought this from didn't even put insulation back in. I'm gonna get some bubble insulation, put it on there before I put my new wood in. And I'm probably gonna take these cabinets out so that I can do the wood under the cabinets because it's literally still wet under there. All that wood was all rotted and wet, still soaking wet. So I peeled it all up. There it all is. And took out some more of that wall. Still need to figure out what to do under there. I might actually just leave that and open up the bottom of the camper and pull the wet wood out from under it. Same thing for under the cabinets because it's a massive amount of work to get those cabinets out. You have to take the outer walls off the camper to get to the screws that are holding the cabinets in. It's absolutely ridiculous and I just can't do it because it rains too much here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is deal with this part. I need to use a circular saw and slice it off. That's not my name on the circular saw either. I got it used. Then I'll have this fan blowing out the door. Hopefully it'll suck a lot of the dust out. Well, at least I know my smoke detector works.
So this guy did some really wonky ass work in here. He had this steel plate bolted to the floor right there. All those metal strips like under the steel plate and all under the wood. He had this steel plate and this steel bar and this aluminum bar bolted under there under the other steel plate but that's all up now and I'm working on getting all the old wood out from under the cabinets so what I've been doing is slicing open the plastic membrane peeling out all the old wood which is still wet. It seems pretty daunting, but once you start doing it, it's not really that bad. A lot of it comes away pretty easily, and uh, yeah, that's that. I also found out, out why the floor was wet back here. Like I was confused because the whole roof is nice, but it was all wet there on the floor. Well, it's because water is pooling on top of the freshwater tank, and I don't know why. There might be a crack under there because when I fill it all the way up, it starts dripping from over there. So I gotta figure out what's going on. If this is empty right now, I might drop it and see what's going on. I don't really want to, but you have to. I need to get to the wood that's under the kitchen cabinets, which are right here on the front. And it's easier to remove the gray tank instead of removing this whole siding, unscrewing the cabinets and removing the cabinets. That was a pain. Kind of a small tank. Considering I have a hundred gallons of fresh water, but this thing has outdoor shower and an outdoor hose. So I guess they're considering that you're gonna wash yourself and your little toys and stuff outside onto the ground. Well, there it is with the, all the wood taken out from under the cabinets. What I'm gonna do is puzzle the wood in, starting on that side. That's my center beam. I'm gonna start on that side, put pieces up there, a piece under here, and then finally a piece of wood here. Then I hope to slide a piece of wood in there, and another piece of wood here, and finally a piece of wood here. So if you wanna see the next stages of this camper floor install, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified when I upload videos. The next camper video will be installing the subfloor and I'll also upload a time lapse of the subfloor installation. So if you don't wanna watch the long video with all the talking and details, you can just be entertained and watch the time lapse. But if you need some insight on camper repair, watch the long video.